Hello, I'm Arnold Vermeer. I'm a senior innovation engineer at LeaseWeb CDN. A CDN is a service to boost your performance and offload your origin. Today I'm going to show you how to configure a basic pool zone. I'm going to go over the details. First step is to log into our control panel. Once you're logged in, you can go to the pool zones tab and add a pool zone. Right now I'm going to demo configuring a video on demand zone. For this you will need an origin URL. That's the file that's the URL where your files are hosted. In my case I've created origin.freshway.biz which has a movie file and another file. I'll use that as the origin and I want to serve my content from the domain video.freshway.biz. You'll see the target CNAME change. We'll use that to configure our DNS later. If you want to add more alias domains, you can do that here. Right now, I'm just going to keep it at video.freshway.biz. Here's the cache settings. By default, we will cache your content for two months. If you want to change that number, you can do that here. By default, we will respect the cache control header that your website will send. If you want to overwrite that capacity, you can use that setting here and you can set it to revalidate or cache for 24 hours. Right now, I'm just going to leave it at default behavior. You can add headers, remove headers, uh, or add headers specifically to your origin. You can configure those here. You can rate limit your content or the speed of which your content will download. For this case, I'll configure 150 kilobytes per second and the first megabyte can burst so you can get a bigger buffer. If you want to disable gzip, you can disable it here or ignore cookies. And if your origin ever would go down, you can select to use stale content. Even though the cache is timed out, we can still serve your content. So I'm going to enable that here. If you want to disable specific countries, you can select those countries here. And if you want to limit the domains that, that can download the files, you can add a domain to the refer field. Or you can generate a secure URL. And you can have it restricted per IP or just a secure URL that is temporarily available. To configure this secure URL, you'll need to configure a global secret. And this will be used to generate a token via our API. Right now, I'm just going to deactivate it. If your origin needs authentication, you can configure that here. My origin doesn't need authentication, so I'll leave it blank. We also support SSL on our CDN. We support any SSL certificate type. If you need to, um, if you need SSL, you can upload the certificate via our support center, and we'll make sure that your SSL certificate gets installed on our CDN. Click Save. All right, now I created my origin. I'm going to get my CNAME. All right, so here you can see your CNAME target, which we'll use to create the CNAME. I'll go over to my DNS maintenance. I'll create a new record video of type CNAME and I'll point it to LeaseWebCDN. The record has been added. So now that we've configured our DNS, we can start to download our file via the CDN. You can see the headers. 
it's a cache miss, so our CDN didn't cache the content yet. Uh, we'll reload the file in a minute, and it should say cache hit. If I reload this page, you can see that the next hit is actually a hit, still being served out of Amsterdam. And then now you've saved a request of your origin already. If you want to experience more of Lee's web performance without creating an account, there's a demo page which shows all our formats that we support. Or if you just want to do a speed test, there's speedtest.leaseWebCDN.com. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped explain how to create a pull zone. If you need any more information, please visit our website.